Hello, thank you for watching this video. Please vote, comment on the issue that I'm about to discuss. I was looking for some scholars who challenge the narrative that free speech is threatened on our college campuses here in the United States. And I came upon two guys. The first one is Jason Stanley, and he's a philosophy professor at Yale. And the second guy is Sean Harper, and he's a critical race theorist at the University of Pennsylvania. And, you know, too many times people only look at one side of this debate, and they remain convinced that campus, campuses are threatening free speech. So I thought I would mix together clips of these two guys to argue that the reverse is true. By all means, like I said, discuss this in the comments and vote, even vote it down if you don't like it, and enjoy. Now, before I start this, I'd like to say I, this is fair use. I am not using these clips in their entirety. I will leave links, so please do not flag this. People like to flag my videos, but don't do that, please. Thank you for watching. Free speech is alive and well in America's universities. Some cast today's campus climate as a tension between anti-racism and free speech. This is a false dichotomy. People have had enough. They're standing up for themselves. They are finally exercising their freedom of speech. What we saw at the University of Missouri, here at Yale, and on dozens of other predominantly white campuses across our nation last fall, were students of color finally exercising their freedom of speech. Black lives matter. So now we shall commence the Diane um, in silence. No one is saying to people that you cannot say ridiculous things. What they are saying is that you are going to be held accountable for them. We're going to engage you in a conversation about them. And it is your choice to withdraw yourself from that conversation because you've never been held accountable for that perspective. When I hear that student protests, protests are silencing and intimidating people, I scratch my head. Students are advocating for open political discussion, sometimes heated, and justice for all. Free speech uh, is not threatened by students voicing their concerns about social justice issues, even in strongly emotional terms. It's threatened by belitt belittling the, st the students' ability to tolerate debate, often emotional, often tough, with each other. When a person of color says that what you just said to me sounded or felt racist, we're not attempting to shut down the conversation. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. We are inviting you to engage with us. We must consider that it is actually the ones who criticize these students for being cry bullies who are the threats to free speech. Some cast today's campus climate as a tension between anti-racism and free speech. This is a false dichotomy. We've seen this pattern before. Those guilty of something often accuse others of the purported crime. We must consider the possibility that what, what is really happening is that the language of free speech has been co-opted by dominant social groups, distorted to serve their interests, and used to silence the marginalized. All too often, when people cry for justice and are represented as threats to free speech, what is really meant is just be quiet. When we hear students of color unpack these painful stories and these microaggressions and stereotypes and, and other things that have happened to them, we ask them, what is it that you want the institution to do? Never once, not once, have I heard them say anything about a speech code. Can I they want the curriculum to reflect their humanity. They want the, the, they want the consciousness of their, their professors and their peers to be raised so that people don't do this to future generations of students of color on their campuses. That's what they want. They don't say a thing to me about speech codes. Views. Let me stop you right there and ask the other side that question, which is why I like the question. Does, does that, that position of the students, do not have John Ashcroft on our campus, does that reflect an intolerance of free speech? Uh, that specific the position reflects 
an intolerance of free speech, and we don't know how many students were on the Facebook page, but I am a free speech absolutist, and people are really coming dangerously close to asking that no such Facebook posts uh, pages be made. And I really think for any speaker, students have the right to protest that speaker's coming. Well, that is something we all agree upon.